Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 15th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Now before we begin the reading, let us ask Divinity God to bless us, guide us as we move forward in wisdom, bringing all that is of the light, purity, goodness, happiness forward and banishing all that is of the darkness, evil, hurt, and pain from our lives. So let's see what the tarot has to say about the energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the sun. Okay. So when the sun comes forward, there's an energy that we need to be acknowledging because the sun is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. Now, it can be a part of our life that we think, oh, that's perfect, like everything's under control there that we need to pay attention to because it's not running as smoothly as we think. It can be a person in our life that we think, oh my gosh, they have it all under control, they're so good, they always are good, and yet we need to check in with them because they're not as good as they appear. And this can also be telling us, pay attention to your son, pay attention to a son, a nephew, a grandson, you know, just pay attention. Okay, that's going to be important. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. <clears throat> Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels, oh goodness. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. So I'm going to show you the cards. Straighten them up for you so that they're straight for you. I'm going to show you the cards. We have the chariot. It says chariot right here. And if you don't want to see the cards, you can fast forward through this. I know people like to. We have the hangman. We have the ace of cups. We have the nine of cups. And we have the high priestess. We need to be very aware that during this time, our emotions can absolutely get the best of us. There's a strong cancer energy coming forward. Cancer is represented by the chariot in the major arcana and is a and is ruled by the cups in the minor arcana. The ace of cups here, spirit is just saying to me that there's strong emotion coming forward and it can take the reins and just take over this time, it could take over the rest of November, December, you know, can it can go quite a long time. It can actually probably go if we don't rein in our emotions all the way to the Cancer time period, which is June 21st to July 22nd, which seems like quite a long time away. But, you know, it will all be here faster than we, we, we know, right? So here, just be very mindful about this because Sagittarius, if our emotions start taking over and just like absolutely dictating everything for us it it'll lead us to a place of 
it's just like a place of craziness. It's not actually being crazy, right? But it's a place where we feel we feel fried, we feel overwhelmed, we feel like we can't connect with anything or anyone and that, you know, we're just, it's like a void. It's like we're, we're going through the motions of being alive, but we're not really living. So just be very mindful of this. The hangman, we're starting to see things differently. We need to acknowledge our emotions and what we want, but we, need, we also need to guard what we love. We have tremendous insight. And that's one of the reasons why our emotions can absolutely take over Sagittarius, because we have such insight with the high priestess. The veil is being lifted from the eyes. We can see things so much more clearly, so much more openly, so much more honestly. And that can, can make us afraid. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do with all this information? You know, how can I move forward? So we can... We just need to be mindful of this, okay? Because this can take over. Our cup is runneth over. That's what Spirit is saying here. Very, very, very profoundly. Our cup is running over. We have blessings and prosperity and bounty. The heart is full. Let us acknowledge what we love. Let us acknowledge the beauty that we love and, and the connections that we have because that's going to be so much more helpful to us and so much more grounding to us than us saying, okay, you know, don't be emotional. We're not going to be able to not be emotional during this time. Also fire sign energy, emotion, you know, passion, fire coming forward. We're emotional people. We're, we're intense people. That needs to be acknowledged here. But we also need to acknowledge that we are blessed. And spirit is making that very known. We could be blessed around the sun. And yet we don't know it. So it could be around a child, right? Or a, a grown son or something like that. I'm just seeing the sun is very important. It's like there's happiness here, but we're not seeing it. And it can be because we're too much in our own emotion. And it's like this little vortex that is is holding us back that is holding on to us so just be very aware of that now let's go deeper but we have tremendous insight we're seeing things so differently during this time we're going to be changing our view and it might actually feel like we're manually like turning a crank that is just like too stuck right and we, we're oiling it we're 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 you know, loosening everything up and we're turning it to be what we need it to be, to move forward in that way that we need. So let's see. Let's go deeper. Oh. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, yeah. Okay. Angels, yeah. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Yeah. Okay. This is just, yeah, this is just reiterating everything that spirit has already told us. So I know some people are going to be like, well, Dane, why do you keep on going? Because it's just clarification, right? We need that clarification. We have the page of cups and the chariot. This is a tremendous time of learning for us. It's tremendous insight and ideas. If you can see page of cups, tremendous insights and ideas. We are that student. That's why the, the cups energy is coming forward so profoundly. We take that gift of the ace of cups. And we have to learn how to, to harness it, how to move forward in what we want and what we need and where we're headed for us and what's important and what isn't important. It moves us to the fact that the hangman, the fact that we are seeing everything differently now after the foundation of what we want has been shaken. It's just absolutely been shaken. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, can I move forward the right way? Is this where I need to be? Is this what I want? Is this what I desire? So here with the hangman, we're seeing things differently because the foundation was shaken. The foundation is not the same that it once was. The tower, it doesn't need to be something bad that we have gone through, but it is something profoundly intense. The tower is change. You can't walk back from it. You can't be like, oh, well, you know, that tower is going to be standing even though it crumbled. Even if you rebuild, it's different, right? So here, acknowledging the fact that things have changed, acknowledging the fact that, you know, after our whole world has been shaken up, we're stepping out of this with different eyes. We're not seeing it the same way that we once did. And that's okay. It moves us to the devil. The devil here, this is addictions, temptation. This is Capricorn energy, Capricorn energy and time frame, December 22nd to January 19th. Okay. Our blessings come in. We're going to see it. That time frame is important. Okay. Mark it on your calendars, write it down. That time frame is important for us. We are going to see a lot of blessings coming in, a lot of the heart being tested, but also a lot of fears of the heart being acknowledged during this time. And we have to make sure that we don't run away into, into drink, into drugs, into 
you know, even over exercising or, or something like that, we can think, oh, well, that's good for me. But if we do anything to excess, like even having tea, if we do anything to excess, it's not going to be good for our bodies. So acknowledging that is going to be really important here. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming in. God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is blessing you, is blessing you with prosperity and success, seeds to be planted. And the Nine of, of Cups, like we have the means to plant this. We have the bounty and the beauty and the abundance around us. So acknowledging that, honoring that is so important. It's kind of like when you plant seeds and you don't water them. Well, how the heck are they supposed to grow? Here we have the water to to grow the seeds, to nourish them. And that's going to be very important for us. Even though we're not necessarily taking this gift right now, we do have to see what our subconscious card is. We we are. We are taking this gift, even though it's not seen. Like we don't feel like we're taking this gift of prosperity and success. We feel like that can be something that we're running after, like on a hamster wheel. We're not getting anywhere. Spirit wants you to know you are taking it. So let yourself calm down. Let yourself center. Temperance in the high priestess. You, temperance, you're represented by temperance, Sagittarius, in the major arcana. Your balance, your things coming into balance. The high priestess, seeing things differently. You know, the high priestess has the veil lifted from her eyes. She sees what others cannot. She understands what others don't get at all. And so that acknowledgement, that energy, is all focused around us. Embracing it, being blessed, and letting ourselves move forward in that blessing, so important here. Your veil is being lifted. You have a true insight into things. Honor that gift. So many people want that gift, Sagittarius. And, you know, and never get it. Others have the gift and are afraid of it. Now it is the time to say, but this is me. So whether you've been afraid of your gifts, whether you've been afraid of your insights and your intuition, or whether you've always wanted it and are going to harness this using the tarot, using meditation, using prayer, using whatever means is right for you in your journey, do so. Because it opens up a new world for you and it opens up a world that you are always supposed to be standing in. Our subconscious tarot message is the seven, is the six of swords, not the seven of swords, the six of swords. Okay? Your emotions, there are all the, the piranhas in the water, right? Your emotions feel like they're going to eat you. You're, you're setting sail on half a boat, and that's never a good thing. But what this card symbolizes, especially in the Rider Waite Smith deck, is that you have the knowledge, you have the understanding, and you're being ferried forward. So yes, it's out of your control. You're not the one ferrying the boat. But you have acquired the knowledge. You have acquired the wisdom. You know what is needed. And that's so important. It's actually open the, opening the world to you. Even though it feels like, oh my gosh, I have to go through this again. Oh my gosh, I have to do this. Oh my gosh, I have to do that. It's like, no, you are opening the world to something spectacular for you. It brings you to your subconscious energy to be mindful of. You always thought it was A or it was B. It has to be black or it has to be white. You know, white page, black print has to be like this. You're being too rigid. You're being too rigid. Understand that. Understand that it isn't one way or the other. You're also severing a tie that has been like a anchor around your neck. I see this also as scissors, you know, coming in and you're just cutting it and you're like, how dare you? How dare you try to weigh me down? How dare you try to destroy me? And that's going to be a very, very, very important thing for you. It's that sense of I'm cutting this. Not because I'm looking at, at everything. She's blindfolded. You know, we can see that blindfold. It's because I'm trusting my instinct and my intuition because I'm centering around my blessing and I'm not being afraid of it. I'm calling it forward. And I'm calling it forward in power. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Sagittarius, and may blessings, prosperity, and abundance always be with you. God bless.